16 years for something I didn't do. I don't think he would try to do anything like that, what they said he did. He'd have to be the biggest magician ever to be someone of that nature that they say he was versus someone that I knew. For somebody to be wrongfully convicted of something to that degree and for that long probably hurt so bad and he didn't let it get the best of him. I was convicted of first degree rape and aggravated sexual assault. I was at the point in the mountain for 16 years. I was left with myself and my thoughts. 22 years old, went into those walls, they gave me my sheets, blanket, and hygiene bag, and said, here you go. The door shut behind me. I sat on the bed, got up, folded the little pillow, placed it under my knees, kneeled and I said a prayer. Lord, you know I didn't do this. I'm asking you today, please do not allow me to become bitter as a result of what's happening to me. I did that because I knew there was a God in heaven. I didn't want to allow this place to consume me, knowing that I didn't do anything that I was accused of. My faith in the system was shaken. My faith in God and myself wasn't, because I knew I didn't do anything. I knew I was innocent. I knew God heard my prayer because this place did not consume me. In fact, God used it to birth my backbone. I take responsibility for placing myself in a position to be accused of what I was accused of. I was a womanizer, I was a player, and I made promises that I had no intentions of fulfilling, but I never assaulted or raped or forced anyone to do anything that they didn't want to do. I want to challenge people to push themselves to their own greatness. When I lost everything over the actions of others, I was at a crossroads to either be spineless or have a backbone. I'm a living testimony of hope and inspiration with a tangible outline of how to stay rooted in self-love and constant accountability. He had this uplifting spirit that's always positive. Even today, I could be in a bad mood and he's positive. I don't get it how he does it. When he was back out and we reconnected, he was the same old Stacy. And I couldn't believe that he was in jail over something like that, because he wouldn't do it. He's a good character, you know, he's always helping people. I don't believe all of the time he spent in prison changed his character at all. He is one of the happiest people I've ever met. Anybody that meets him, it's just, they love him. His personality is so contagious and I don't believe he's any different than he probably was 30 years ago. That just makes me proud to be his wife in that way. He's a really great person. He cares for others more than he cares for himself. And he's always tried to do the best by me. I mean, he's treated me like his own son. One thing that I think sets him apart from other people is his uh, knowledge about sports and his passion about sports. He's just an amazing athlete. We just had a lot of fun. He's very talented in that, and he's super athletic in really all sports. I look up to him because he's super confident, and he very passionate about what he does. He's definitely inspired me to talk up more and be more confident and stand up for myself. Every game we go to, it doesn't matter if it's Josie's, a kid he's coached before, he's on the sidelines helping, cheering. To still be able to hold those characteristics after experiencing such such a horrible thing, it speaks loudly about who he is and what he represents. It is my goal to elevate and assist as many people as I come in contact with 
to experience true breakthroughs in their lives. Backbone is a movement that empowers everyone, believing all can keep balance over negative experiences. We have all had negative things happen in our lives, but not all of us allowed the negative experiences to define the direction our life would go. The negative experiences that happened to me took me to a dark place called prison, but I refused to allow my mind to accept the lies that were told about me. Whatever negative experience has taken place in your life or whomever feels defeated, Backbone is here to empower you to stand on your own power and face life head on with 10 toes down. I feel like before I met him, I'd been through so much in my life. And then when he told me his past and his story and everything he's been through, and if he can have a backbone like that with everything he's gone through, it just made me know that even just the smallest things, if you have a backbone, you can get through them. He's a positive person and he definitely believes that like nothing can stop him at all. He perseveres through everything and he's just full of life and joy all the time. Stacy definitely has a backbone. Stacy's brand backbone is something that means a lot to me. Being a single mom, there's been a lot of times that I've wanted to give up. And I know there were probably a lot of times that he wanted to give up too. Sitting behind bars for 16 years for something that you didn't do would make me want to give up. But his brand backbone stands for just that, having a backbone and not giving up. Even in the hardest challenges that life has to give you, you just stay strong and stand tall and do it with integrity. We appreciate him and there is not any words or gifts that I could provide to him to show him how much we do. God is at the center of who I am. And the more I draw closer to him, the more I'm able to live a life of success in the world he created for us. Things don't happen to us, they happen for us. Use your backbone.